Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me before and I'm back again with another video. And today's video is going to be more business orientated because um, I do a lot of makeup and hair videos as well as entertaining videos. But I feel like I never, you know, show you guys like my business side because your girl is about her coin. Period. I'm going to be telling you guys five, if I can think of more, I'll do more. But like basically five things I wish I knew before I started my business or I guess in the beginning of starting my business. Natural vegan cosmetics line, Belle Bouche Cosmetics. Belle Bouche means beautiful lips in French. And I, have, I sell lip gloss, um, highlight, body oils, lip balm. My business is a small business obviously. And um, I started it by myself. When I started it, I start literally started my business with less than two hundred dollars because I was working, but it wasn't like I was working retail at Century Twenty One. Yeah, I was working at Century Twenty One, and then um, I literally the first thing I ever brought was actually a label maker, which is really weird. But I still use it to this day to label my bottles, which will soon change, obviously. But that was the first thing I brought. And then from then, I literally started with less than, I feel like it was like 150 And I got the Virtucell. I got um, some squeeze tubes. Um, a couple shades of like different kind of glitters. And uh, yeah, I just decided to start. But um obviously it wasn't easy it was something that I thought that I knew how it would go and um, obviously that's not how it ever works one of the things that I would have wished I knew or did before I started my business was definitely save more money if you are wanting to start a small business and like it's something that you can start today like not close because close is not something that can happen overnight if it's anything else save your money because for so many months let me not say so many months but for a while I guess for like three months I made little to no profit which was not the worst thing in the world because i had a job like i had other money coming in you know your girl is a hustler period but um i didn't make a profit for at least three months and i just felt like i was failing like you know obviously when you put your heart and soul into this and as well as your money and it doesn't necessarily give you it back at the rate that you gave it you're gonna feel like you're failing and you're gonna feel like you're not doing enough or you haven't done enough or you'll never be enough but don't let it don't don't sweat it girl because the devil be working hard why the um, fuck you the lying thing, definitely why you always lying? stack your bread at least save a month worth of at least and that's just if you you're fiending like if you cannot wait, you just be like, oh my God, I knew I want to start this now. Like, I'm so excited because it'd be like that. Like, when you have an idea and you're that type of person that just wants to do it, do it now, it's like that. Like, you don't want to start, like, you don't want to wait. Like, for what? So, I would say save at least two checks. At least. So, you have, like, s s a little wiggle room because you don't, in the beginning, well, that's what I did. I bootstrapped for a long time. And for those of you who don't, like young entrepreneurs that don't know what bootstrapping is, bootstrapping is when you literally grab yourself by the boots, <laughs> strap them bitches on, and do what you gotta do along the way. Like, so you either you, you take what you have and work with it, period. That's what bootstrapping is. And that's what I was doing for so long. And, um, <clears throat> I mean, obviously, it, it helped in the long run because I stayed faithful, I stayed motivated, um, and it's hard to stay motivated. Um, 
but you know it, it, it's a work in progress it's never gonna be something that will just I mean for some people if you have already the following and obviously if other things are in play it'll be much easier for you but for our, us regular folk it's gonna take time period like it's not gonna fall from the sky it, none of that is gonna happen so definitely save more money was the first thing I wish I would have done because I just felt broke and nobody was to feel broke, especially me. Like, I got it in my hair now. I like to look good, like, all the time. So, like, it was just... Anyways, okay. The second thing I wish I would have done um, before I started my business was definitely, definitely research... Um, Mr. Carr would be definitely research more on the competition... Um, not that, because uh, a lot of, I don't care personally for competition. I don't compete because nobody can beat me. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, um, because there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of homemade lip glosses going around nowadays. A lot of companies, a lot of, um, DIY cosmetics, that's better. A lot of DIY cosmetics companies that are around, that are popping up. And I just wish I did more of my research because um, after the fact, obviously, I, I, I was researching because I was looking at hashtags, you know, I had things to post. So I was looking at other people's things like that were in the similar category as me. And I just felt like there was so many things I could have done different as far as like different flavors, you know, just not being so alike because obviously a lot of girls think the same we all know what we like you know and then you see a lot of repeats i don't like that i don't like to see others my idea on somebody else's like thing i want to be as different as possible um it wasn't the biggest thing in the world because now i have 12 colors and i'm pretty sure um they're unique they have their unique names and a different story for every gloss so um and i'm my own brand so nobody can you know, I can't compare myself to anybody else because I'm not anybody else and nobody else is me. Nor do they have this pretty little brain. So, um, but definitely research the competition. Research their, their like, compare prices, their target markets. Do your research a lot. I was focused more on, like, formulating and, like, the actual making of it than rather of the background knowledge like I was just in beast mode and I wanted I was like this is what I want to do and I'm gonna do it right now okay but that works too sometimes it works out <laughs> um the third thing something else I wish I did or let me say didn't do too I wish I didn't when I started my website was really bad but like which is I feel like that's not the worst thing in the world, but like my branding, I'm still working on it now because I'm only a year in. I've It's been a lot. I have now 12 glosses, three highlights, three body oils, two different chopsticks, and a bunch of different accessories, but, and it's been successful. Thank, thank you, Jesus. But I wish I would have definitely took the time to brand more. But that's where saving comes into play because I wanted to brand more as far as updating my bottles. Because my bottles were cheap. Them squeeze bottles are cheap as fuck. Especially when you actually want to fill them with the amount that you would like. So it's like they're super cheap. And I just wish I just would have branded better in the beginning. But ain't no problem because my product was amazing and people love them. But like, you know, some people, that is enough. Like a bad, an ugly tube or like an ugly label is enough for them to be like, nah, I'm good. But I just, but that goes back to saving. But definitely branding is extremely important, obviously, because there's a few brands that we know just because of like the color or like a certain font. Like we just know who, who or what it is. So definitely would have took more time to brand and you know improve the product before I just jumped into selling it um, another thing the fourth thing that I would have that I sh I wish 
that I would have done is not rely so much on people around me like you know friends and family to like I guess to be the motivation like when you're especially as a young person and especially being Caribbean I'm Haitian for those of you who don't know you you never to a lot of parents and a lot of people in that position you're never really doing something until you have you, sh you can show for it you know so I just wish and and you know if you're not gonna motivate yourself don't expect nobody else to to be honest that's just it like obviously you would like you know certain people to like push you give you a push like oh yes you can do it then like clap 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 but it's not always gonna be like that eight times out of ten it's not gonna be like that and you literally have to put on your big girl pants or your big boy pants and give yourself the push be the push because sometimes there's just nobody to push you and nobody's gonna feel bad because this is what you wanted to do so you gotta take it how it is and keep it going as if it's your dream go get that bitch okay and that's another thing that i wish i i, I didn't do because i felt like it took a lot from me emotionally and it, it it left me very much very much frustrated and overwhelmed a lot of the times just overthinking every situation like oh I have no help or like I'm struggling and nobody's helping me like and it's just the little things but like going through that literally every entrepreneur needs it if 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 you're an entrepreneur and everything is peaches and cream and it's sweet and you're like it's I mean if it's listen take the blessing how it's the blessing but like I feel like everybody needs to go through those hard times to realize like one I really want to do this and two to see if you really have it in you and three to see if you're gonna stick with it because so many times I like thought to myself like if I if I just stopped right now nobody would notice like and like I would I wouldn't I tried as much times to never say that out loud because I feel like when you say it out loud it's prophesizing it you're putting it out in the air it's like okay I believe it enough to say it and I I'm glad I never really did that but um I just kept with it you know it's paying out it's only a year but you know yeah girl about to t <laughs> nah, let me stop but um definitely I wish I would have been self-motivated more in the beginning the f was that three or four I don't know if you're starting a small business or if you're starting anything anything that you are trying to get paid for you trying to make bigger than what it is record all your process record all the money that comes in all the money that goes out all the money that you spend on whatever you spend it on how much you get it how frequent you get it um, like for example <clears throat> Um, there was one time I gave my mom like maybe eight to ten glosses to take to work to try to sell because you know my mom got to get the gift of gaff so she can sell she can sell I don't know water to a whale <laughs> so um, so you know I took I, I gave her a couple of glosses and I told him to take her to work and do her thing and um, I don't even really remember how many glosses it was it was literally eight to ten maybe more than that and she came back and she just had money. And I was just like, and like all the glosses were gone. And I was like, um, where'd it go? Like, uh, okay. When you're getting ingredients, if you're not getting them in bulk, like first of all, I recommend if you're getting ingredients, buy them all together, maybe bi-weekly or at a monthly rate because when you start breaking it down and you like get things like you know a little bit of this I don't need this right now but I'll get that da, 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 da. it gets um hard to track as well as your money just and you literally never know where it goes to because I don't know if you're like me but your girl like to spend money I don't know 
but it's just very important to track all your things as well as sales even if you don't have a website track your sales who buys from you how much and how much they gave you and how much you kept because it was a lot of times like i had family members that would get um two glosses for back then i was selling them for eight dollars they're eight dollars eight dollars i mean seven dollars so like she got two like i had a sister that got two they were obviously this two and seven is 14. she gave me twenty dollars and i she told me to keep the whole 20. so like it's good to track things like that because that's how money literally flies out your hand and saving is so important not even in a business just as a young individual as an old individual as any individual just as an individual saving money is a key factor in living in america living anywhere if you don't have money saved if you don't have nothing to your name i don't know i guess just super important but especially in starting a small business because it'll literally backtrack you for so long just trying to keep up with maintaining your business one because at a certain point it got to a point where i was like getting a lot of sales getting a lot of sales getting a lot of sales but like i, I was using the money that i got from the sales to fund the products that i already sold so it was like i was literally making no profit and it was just like i had to tell myself like Bertha, you gonna do this forever ho? so saving money and tracking your expenses budgeting your life is a major key and for right now that's about it but thank you guys for watching this video be sure to like comment subscribe anything else you guys want to see if you guys have any more business questions or anything like that feel free to let your girl know and i'm gonna see y'all later Period.